It's that time of year again, in the heart of Africa, on the banks of the Zambezi, we've come to Cran. After qualifying competitions around the world and five gruelling heats beneath the scorching African sun, we're left with ten giants in the final, one of whom will be crowned the world's strongest man. Will it be Paulin, Carlsen, Virischuk, Gerard, Dimmick, Bergmanis, Samuelson, Savikas, Dolan, Pujinovsky? One of these ten will lift the Metrex trophy and be crowned the world's strongest man. Ten men, and it's about consistency of scoring over the seven events that will determine the destiny of the title. And the top ten strongmen are headed by the defending champion. Well, this really is the most evenly contested final in years, and this first event is going to be absolutely crucial because in the history of World's Strongest Man, the overall winner has always come in the first two, in the first test. Now, Jamie Reeves, former World's Strongest Man, this is a tough old start, isn't it? It is. This 225 kilogram weight has got to be carried for 14 metres. If that's not enough, we've got an anchor and chain that weighs 300 kilograms that's got to be dragged for 16 metres. This is going to totally test overall body strength. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some of the athletes collapse. Well, an idyllic setting, maybe, but anticipation mixed with trepidation for the ten finalists. It's a beautiful day in a beautiful country. And how are you feeling? Feel good. Feel good. Thank you. If I can keep my lunch down, I'll be happy. <laughs> it's, I'm just, it's nerves right now. I've already exceeded what uh, I came here to do. I feel pretty good. I think uh, the first event, you know, like, uh, I just can't wait to get it uh, on the way there. In the final for me, it's bonus for me because my plan was only go, count, go to final. Always before, before um, a huge contest, a little bit nervous. I'm just gonna go and do uh, the best of my potential at each event, and we're gonna see what happens. First year event is always the, the toughest, uh, you know, for mentally at least, just to get started. After that, it just goes by itself. Just hope for a, for a good start, and then usually the rest of the week will follow like that. I feel good, but nobody knows who wins. Do you think you can win again? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we win. Maybe last. I don't know. Maybe five, six place. I don't know. Maybe. There's no maybes about who we want commentating though on the world's strongest man final, Paul Dickinson. So one of three Canadians who've made this final, Jeff Dolan, the former javelin thrower, next to his teammate Jesse Paulin. And Paulin was absolutely superb in the heats. 
A slightly smaller figure next to him, Jarek Dimek, and of course the reigning champion goes in the next heat, Marius Puzhinovsky. And those two guys train together. Then the former world's strongest man, the legendary Magnus Samuelsson of Sweden. And finally, another first-timer in the final, Vasily Verastyuk of the Ukraine. Determined, steely, and certainly ready for this final. 225 kilos between the legs, and here we go. And it's Verastyuk who's got away very quickly. Samuelson not far behind him. And on the far side, Jeff Dolan is going well. Well, I'm most impressed with the way that Verastyuk has applied himself to this final. No nerves at all. Jeff Dolan in second place. Samuelson gaining just inside Verastyuk. And look at this. Verastyuk has fallen. And that has slowed him down, but he's won it. That was very good by Verastyuk. And 26.34 seconds. Samuelson finishes in second place. And then Jeff Dolan. Right in the center, Jarek Dimek of Poland is struggling. I'm most surprised by that. But what a great start by Verastyuk of the Ukraine. That was a, a fantastic performance. How pleased is he with that? I'm mad on myself that I didn't go faster because if it's really heavy and you start off too fast, then you burn up so quick. But it's easy to be wise afterwards. I think if I could, have, I could have done the drag a lot faster, but then again, you can also fall over if you do that, so no excuses. He started like a greyhound. Yeah, it was a good start, but uh, you need a lot more than that to keep the vast experience of Magnus and Vasil down. And here is the lineup for our next heat. On the inside, the man who finished second in Kuala Lumpur last year, Zidrunas Zavikas, looking very, very serious. And next to him, our Olympic weightlifter, a Latvian who's been around the strength circuit for many, many years, Raymond's Bugmanis, with a silly haircut, but I prefer that you didn't tell him that. And Hugo Girard, for many people, one of the favourites to lift this year's title. We'll have to wait and see. The third Canadian who's made this final. And then the defending champion, the very muscular frame of Marius Pudzianowski. So determined to retain that title. And finally, another former champion. Sven Carlsen of Norway, the man who's got plenty of Viking power. So the fastest time at the moment by Verastyuk, 26.34. And away we go, 225 kilos, remember. And Pujanovsky is away and running well. Sven Carlsen just in second place behind him and on the far side. Uh, Zavikas is going well, but Pujanovsky is in the lead. There's no doubt about that. Zavikas is pushing him hard. And Sven Carlsen in round about third place. And Puzhanovsky's won it. He's won the first event outright. Puzhanovsky's time, 23.41. And I think Savikas will get second place overall, just ahead of Verastyuk. Last year he won the first event and he was the champion. That must make him feel good for this, this competition. To znaczy, jeszcze potrzebne mi są dwie konkurencje. I później już będzie wtedy kontrolowanie. Zobaczymy, jak pójdzie dalej, tak. But second place not so bad. My start was bad. I, I think I lost one second. I slept and start. But it's the same as last year. Marius won this event yeah. and then second. So he he will be a big problem for you. Uh, yeah, but last year was about ten seconds between us. Now half second. Maybe in other events will be better for me. That's a tough start, isn't it? No, I am very happy with this start because this event almost killed me last year in Malaysia. I couldn't finish it and I was very tired. Now I finished and I didn't get so tired, so I'm very happy. It's a good start. Positive thinking there from the bullish Viking, but he did finish right in the middle of the pack. Poland in first place and Poland bringing up the rear after that opening event. 
Eastern Europe to the fore, Poland, Lithuania and the Ukraine in the first three places as Puzhanovsky makes a solid start to the defence of his crown. Four logs. Number one stays the same, 110 kilograms. Number two stays the same, 125. Number three has now gone up to 155 kilograms. And to finish, it's 165 kilograms. Now let's see who's got the strongest upper body in the world. Well, this was always a good event for Jamie Reeves when he was world's strongest man, so I wonder how these guys will get on. Raymond Bergman is the first to go, the Latvian superstar of weightlifting. He did very well at this event in the heat, lifting all four in a very One. fast time. And what would you expect from a man who's competed in the Olympic Number Super Heavyweight one. Weightlifting one. Championship three okay. times and proudly carried Latvia's flag Number at the opening one. ceremony in Sydney. This is good. Dodging about the pool area, very nimble on his feet. Now this one, 155 kilos and gets it. He has to wait for the referee signal, and that is given. Now then, there is a time limit of 75 seconds. He's got stacks of time left. So he's just composing himself, but time may be an issue if anybody else lifts for the fastest time wins. Rolls it up the chest now. Steadies himself and pushes, pushes, pushes. And he's got it. That is great by Bergmanus, 52.75, whoa, watch out, well done Raymond's Bergmanus, and watch out everybody else in the pool. I did it all hogs, and I, again in the swimming pool, that's a good, <laughs> wonderful day. Well, it wasn't quite so wonderful for Jessen Paulin, too, in 1622. The heat getting to a lot of these guys now. Jeff Dolan, too, in 1487. He was then followed by Jarek Dimmick from Poland. He managed to lift three in 3515. And the best so far, apart from Bergmanis, Magnus Samuelsson, three in 3083. But then he was eclipsed by Hugo Girard from Canada, three in 2208. So it's our former champion next, Sven Carlson. And you heard what he said about the first event, he was quite happy with that. It's all about consistency in this final. That's a good start. He put it down very precisely. Doesn't want to waste energy on lowering the weight down. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake there, so he's lost time. That's 125 kilos, and he made it look easy in the end. On to number three. And as you heard Jamie Reeves say, this has been increased in weight from the heats. It now weighs 155 kilos, 330 pounds. That's about 23 stone or thereabouts. Little push of the legs, and that was good. Now then, can he equal what Raymond's Bergmanis did and lift the fourth bar? Remember, Bergmanus' time was 52.75, so the time has gone. So the best that Carlson can hope for at the moment is second place. Big lift with the legs. Roll it up the chest now. And now he's got to hit it hard with the legs and drive up with the arms. Oh, it was almost up. He's run out of time anyway, so Carlson finishes with three lifts at 43.96 we'll have to wait and see what happened uh, with the second one i don't know i need warm up yes the third one was very easy i actually thought i had a good chance at the last one as well it was close but sometimes shit happens and uh, even at this early stage in the final are people starting to get a bit fatigued after the heat and everything i don't know i don't think it's that bad so just have to keep on smiling and keep on fighting. Well, this is a guy who certainly will keep on fighting the very determined face of Vasil Verastyuk, a newcomer to World's Strongest Man, but he's impressed everybody so far. Well, let's just remind ourselves of the lead as he lifts the first one. Raymond's Bergmanis, four lifts, 52.75. Verastyuk, so powerful in the upper body. And as a former shot putter, they do lots of this sort of work in the gym. So I guess you could say he should be good at this. 
And that is three in a very fast time. He's gone ahead of Carlson, that's for sure. Now, can he get anywhere near Bergmanis? Just settling himself. Eastern Europe, the Poles, the Lithuanians, the Latvians, and here, the Ukrainians have done so, so well in this year's competition. He's still got time to do it, but it needs to go now. He's done it. We've got a new leader. Varastyuk has done it in 48.93. Thank you very much indeed. Great effort by Varastyuk. So how hard was the fourth lift? No. In principle, the third is already hard. The fourth is really difficult, I'm sure. I'm very happy that I did it. And I'm very happy that I did it faster. So I have a better result. Well, the top two places in this year's final are exactly the way they were at the end of the competition last year. Zavikas here is in second place, and Puzhanovsky, who's yet to go, is in the lead. And that looked very good from Zidruna Zavikas. And this guy was very impressive in all his events in the heats. A time is now an issue. That was a fantastic time by Vrastyuk. 48.93 to beat. Zavikas just rolls it up, drives it up. Excellent stuff. Douglas Edmonds says, yes, that was good. Now he's got about 18 seconds to go. A little blow, a little relaxation, and then he's got to go for it up to the shoulders seven seconds left a little bit off balance it's got to go now has he done it yes he has we've got another new leader Zavikas 47.43 and he's just beaten Varastyuk by a whisker was the fourth stone very difficult no it was no difficult I can move how do you think Marius will get on here? I think he will do three logs fast. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Marius Pujanowski, the defending World Strongest Man champion. And this, remember, is only the second event, but he's already won the first. And here we go. Oh, that was simple. Let's just remind ourselves of the weights of these things. The first was 243 pounds. That was 264. And then we've got a massive jump. 341 pounds, this one. And it's quick. It's quicker than Zavikas, and it's up. So we've got one more lift to go. And here we go, this guy, the all-round athlete. He can do the splits, actually. He's tremendously flexible. That doesn't matter at the moment. Just waiting to see what sort of time he's got left. It's under 10 seconds. 47.43 is the time to beat. Drives it up above his head, and I think he's got it. 165 kilos, and that is unbelievable. Two victories out of two for the pole. And Marius looks terrific. Uh, were you surprised to get all four? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know this. Nie wiem jak to zrobiłem. So where is he getting the power from? Z góry. A bit unfair then on everybody else taking on Pujanowski and God, but there's confirmation of a second consecutive victory for the pole and he now has a two-point cushion at the top. The rest must be getting worried. For Kuala Lumpur, Reed Zambia, the two dominant figures 12 months ago in Malaysia now setting the pace at this early stage. When you're in Zambia, take a ride with the Viking to see it from above. First time in the helicopter to see this. There must be a mathematical formula for the brute force with which that water is cascading towards the Zambezi beneath. Absolutely no idea what it is, of course. All I do know is that it's power in the roar. And so is this. An old favourite in strongman. I'm not talking about John Inverdale. I'm talking about the Hercules hold 
160 kilos in each arm, and they've got to hang on to it for as long as possible. Yes! Jessen Paulin in his first World's Strongest Man final. And boy, oh boy, does the big Canadian need the points. He's down in last place at the moment. But if he can reproduce the sort of form he showed in the heats, well, he could be in the points again. He's a long way behind the leader, Marius Pujanovski. But this youngster is a real addition to our strongman final, I tell you. He's very, very popular. He's just a little bit off balance there. And perhaps favoring his left arm. The right arm looks a little higher. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's bad enough trying to stand on two legs. He's going to make it more difficult standing on uh, just the one. Look at those giant triceps hanging underneath his arm. But the stress here is across the shoulders and the chest. And the crowd are really now get, beginning to get behind him. Over 55 seconds. This is a very, very good effort from Jesse Paulan. And it's gone just a fraction underneath one minute. 59.4 and at last we've seen some of the talent that this guy has got that was a great effort by the Canadian 59 seconds how, how good do you think that will be I think it's a pretty good time but uh, I wanted to go for 130 did you yeah make myself really clear so make it really untouchable so going first in the event there's uh, still nine guys to go, so I'm going to have to sit and wait. It's Jarek Demek this time. Disappointing start to this final, but Are you ready? we'll see what the pole can do. His teammate and training partner, Marius, of course, is way, way in the lead at the moment. Now, just check out the size of this guy's arms and shoulders. He's trying to relax. Look at that. He's being stretched to the limit. 352 pounds in each arm that is a massive total and a massive time that's been set by Jesse and Paulin look at his biceps his deltoids and he's trying to relax it's an unbelievable prospect isn't it 35 seconds gone and now the crowd reacting just as they did for Jesse and Paulin and now the stress is beginning to tell and it's hurting and he's gone. Yarek Demek's time, 47.64. I think he's okay, no harm done, but he's in second place for the time being. He's just checking his hands to make sure there's no damage. That was good. And at the end, what, what is happening? Your, your fingers say no more? Oh, every time same problem. My right hand uh, lose the grip, like, and I start screaming, 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 and then, Left hold, but right, not hold and right. <laughs> Running. Well, here's a man who's made a storming start to this final in his very first appearance, Verastyuk of the Ukraine. <laughs> we were saying earlier about the impact that the Eastern Europeans have had on World's Strongest Man final. They really have got a good circuit set up in Eastern Europe for all sorts of strongman shows and competitions. And that is why this sport is so popular now. I'll never forget seeing his brother competing in the European Indoor Championships when he won a bronze medal and boy oh boy was he proud. Just like his brother here, Vasil. Going well, 30 seconds gone. And it's still of course a massive lead by Jesse and Paula at 59.40. And Demek is in second place, 47.64. And he's closing in on that now. And Verasiuk's just let go. A little bit annoyed with himself, 44.68, he's going to have to wait and see whether he can get big points from that time. We'll have to wait and see. In the middle of the pack came Jeff Dolan, 38.67 for the Canadian. He was then followed by Sven Carlsen, disappointing for the Viking, 33.83. And as far as Hugo Gerard was concerned, he was banking on big points here, but only just over 31 seconds. Well, it's still ready? all to go for. Raymond Bergmanis, one of just a small handful of athletes to go in the Hercules hold. Five seconds, looking steady. Apparently, he's had his hair cut in celebration of something, but what it is he's celebrating, I'm not quite sure. But the Olympic weightlifter has certainly got a strong grip. He's proved that on countless occasions. 
in European World and Olympic Championships for weightlifting. Is he steady? Yes, he is. Eyeballs out. Total concentration. 35 seconds gone for Bergmanis. Can anybody close in on the time set by the Canadian Paula at 59.4? He's got 45 seconds. This is good. Oh, it's just gone. 47.65. But that is a satisfactory finish, I think, for Raymond Bergmanis. A good time by the Latvian. It's uh, anchor power today in my arms and we need the points and that is not very good events for me. But I concentrated and when I wake up today I feel it very good. Look up to Zidrunas. Zidrunas Savikas to go next. Are you ready? In second place overall, just behind Marius Puzhinovsky, who's still to go. Let's see your face, please. I'm not quite sure why Douglas Edmonds is saying he needs to see his face. Maybe he wants to see what sort of agony he's got this guy in. There's not a lot of movement involved in the Hercules hold. It is static. But by the time these guys are just at the limit, the agony running through the arms and the fingers and the palms of the hand is just about too much to bear. 35 seconds gone. Oh, and he's gone! That is a massive surprise. Only 36.03. A golden chance you'd have thought for Samuelson to score heavily, but he could manage just over 41 seconds. Well, how about this? Our last competitor, Marius Puzhinovsky, the overall leader, and it's still Jessen Paulin in the lead. And what a lead it is. It's about 12 seconds longer than anybody else has achieved. 59.04. He can't really see his eyes, he's got those dark spectacles on. Now how about these for muscles? Oh, and look at the stretch on the deltoid muscle there. Just over six feet tall, weighs over 20 stones in body weight, and there's hardly an ounce of body fat on that body. He's more like a bodybuilder, despite the fact he is a great strong man. We're just having a little look round there, nothing to see except a lot of spectators cheering him on and he's saying yes yes i can do this and i think he's going to go into second place is it over 50 seconds it's enough 50.65 is in second so Drunas had a very bad performance there and now you have a very big lead so are you feeling very confident <laughs> yes uh, jeszcze zostały dzisiaj tylko kule jeżeli kule dzisiaj już dobrze zrobię już będę spokojny well, very confident and justifiably so, but Paula breaks his stranglehold on victory in the individual events, but it does mean that Pujanowski now leads by seven clear points. An unparalleled start by the powerful Paul. Surely he can't keep this pace up. Behind him, though, the battle's well and truly on for second. It's the same equipment. Five drums, five stones, ranging from 110 kilograms to 165. In the heats, only two guys put all five stones on, Pullan and Samuelson. If any of the leaders are going to mount a serious challenge, they're going to have to put all five stones on. And in 42 degrees C, that's going to be very, very difficult. And if you watch the heats, you'll notice the layout of the course is different. It's straight, as opposed to being zigzaggy. In the yellow on the right-hand side, Jeff Dolan of Canada, and right then a former Canada. champion, Sven Carlson yes. of Norway. Dolan. Dolan is certainly impressed in his very first World Strongest Man final. Sven Carlsen must be disappointed about losing touch with the leaders though. He's got to do well at this one. And Carlsen's got all the experience. Get ready! The first stone, 100 kilos, nearly 16 stones in weight. And Carlsen is just in the lead. Although Jeff Dolan Level pegging, I think, at the moment, and Dolan did well to get that second one up so quickly. They move on to the third granite stone, 265 pounds, and this is much better from Sven Carlson. Dolan is ahead, though. This is a massive surprise. This guy's got a lot of talent, and Sven Carlson is struggling a wee bit. Well, you heard what Jamie Reeves had to say. If anybody's going to win this, they've got to get five up. And Dolan is trying desperately but loses his grip. Carlson's got to go some. And he 
he's done it! That is superb, and Carson has really come alive now. Jeff Dolan still trying for number five. He's well within the time limit of 75 seconds. Now come on. A total novice at the Atlas Stones. So this is a creditable effort from Jeff Dolan. And like Sven Carlson, he needs big points here. I think he's going to run out of time. Sven Carlson hanging around, urging the Canadian on, but that is it. Yes! And Sven Carlson's time for five, 46.29 superb at last I talked with my wife and she said if I from this position can pull it through and end in the top three we will get another child and that's worth fighting for isn't it <laughs> obviously not such a major incentive for Yarek Dimmick four in 30.15 for the pole but Hugo Girard was thinking good things he got all five up in 38.34 seconds well, I don't yeah. think it's any coincidence that Magnus Samuelsson and Jessin Paulin have been put together here. The only men in the heats to lift five stones, and now it's a head-to-head -head between the two of them. Ready. This is going to be fascinating. You remember the days when we had a wall to put the stones on? Oh, Samuelsson's dropped his. I was about to say that Samuelsson was the world record holder. And look at this, Jesse Paulin is on his third stone and Samuelson is playing catch-up. What a big surprise. And I bet there's been a big shot of adrenaline has surged through Magnus Samuelson's body and he's caught up the Canadian. It's all on number five now. Can Samuelson do it? Yes, he can. Absolutely superb. Total psyched up athletes. But Magnus Samuelson has pulled it out of the bag. You can't win a contest like this by playing safe cards. You have to gamble a little bit. So I decided to try to throw the first one on. And as I tried to speed it up, my hand slipped a little bit and I just came a few centimeters too short of the first stone. And then I knew I had to really speed up because Jesten is pretty fast with stones. And so I had to give it my all. So except from the first one, I'm pretty pleased with the rest of them. <laughs> I'm quite happy. I wanted the big win, but close, but still good, still very good. Did you see Magnus drop it? No, I didn't see Magnus, but I heard the sound of his stone on the fifth wall. And it was a slight bit before I put my stone up. Raymond's Bergmanis. <laughs> he thinks he's Popeye, he really does. I wonder what Zavikas thinks he is. Super strong, I'll bet. And here we go. And what a lead it is by Magnus Samuelsson. He said he'll have to sit and sweat and wait. It won't be difficult in this 40 degree heat, I can tell you. And he almost threw it up there, did Zavikas. Bergmanis, great athlete. And both men going well. Two more to go, and the time is good as well. 32.42 by Samuelsson. Now, can Zavikas get number five up? He's only got four seconds to go. It's going to be close. And Samuelsson's time is safe. The Swede is still in the lead. But Zavikas has got his up. And that was superb. 36 seconds dead. Bergmanis just struggling a bit with a 160 kilogram granite ball. Zavikas just watching. I think Raymond's has had enough. And at the moment, Zavikas is in third place but we've still got the leader to go. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, I'm very happy because first time I lift fifth stone. First time ever? Yeah. Oh, fantastic, well done. Big smiles all round, but will it be big smiles for either Vasil Vodastyuk or of course the leader, Marius Pujanovsky, who couldn't quite make it three out of three in the last event back back. but two first places and a second Get ready. away we go still the lead is held by Samuelson 32.42 and in fact Verastiuk has got away to the quickest start he's such an explosive animal this boy and Pusinovsky is catching him whoa 
Both these guys a little on the short side, around about six feet as opposed to Samuelson, who's almost two meters tall. But now Puzinovsky is really getting going. He seems to like it more the heavier these stones get. And that is good. Samuelson has won it, I can tell you that. But that is another second place for Marius Puzinovsky. Barastyuk has got to go on number five desperately trying to get some grip and of course as time goes on the hotter they get the sweaty they get it becomes almost impossible to get any sort of purchase on those giant granite balls especially when they weigh 160 kilos that's about 25 and a half stone it's absolutely unbelievable but Verastiuk is not giving up five seconds to go ah such frustration for the Ukrainian but Puzhinovsky is in the big points yet again and that is what makes a world's strongest man Mr Consistency has done it again you are 10 points clear of everybody else he must be thinking that he's almost won jeszcze nie, do samego końca, do ostatniej konkurencji trzeba walczyć jutro już będzie wiadomo na 80% ale dzisiaj jeszcze nie well, has there ever been a scoreboard like that in the history of World's Strongest Man? In the Atlas Stones, six men getting all five up. But look at that, Puzhinovsky, ten points clear. So Puzhinovsky's dropped just two points in the opening four events and he's clear on his own as Samuelson mounts his challenge, but has he left it too late? to assess all athletes to make sure they have no long-standing injuries and are cardiovascularly fit to be able to compete in the tournament. I've been using cardiovascular monitors so that we can see sort of physiological stress that they are placed under. This has been a benefit to some of the athletes as they can see a good picture of the graph for the, each of the events and therefore they know that they need to be doing more aerobic training to increase their fitness. We also have to assess them in terms of drug testing for the events. We need to also look after their soft tissue or muscle tendon injuries. A lot of these injuries is more muscle spasm and that's why we have two masseurs here to try and break down that pain and lo and behold there is right as rain shortly afterwards. This truly is a bridge over troubled water as far as Marius Puzhinovsky's opponents are concerned. A hundred metres above the mighty Zambezi River it's now or never for his main rivals. Although you need a tremendous amount of leg strength to pull this train, technique is all important. You must keep your backside very low, looking up with your head, apply that leg strength and build up a smooth momentum. The Victoria Falls Bridge, the Big most the magnificent dozen. setting for Yarek Demek and the next on this train pull. 15 and a half tons of carriage. Are you ready? That's worth about nine Are water ready? buffalo. So away Yarek goes. Now, not only is he a rival of Marius Puzhinovsky, he's also his friend and training partner. So it's Poland going for gold here in the train port. Staying low, driving hard, just wearing training shoes. One of the two of the athletes may well be wearing boots. And the hand position is so important as well. And I tell you what, in this heat, those rails are getting very, very hot indeed. Oh, it's just over 30 seconds, 31.37. That is an excellent time for Yarek Demek. I feel that I can do this much faster, but I try walking of second steps in this, and this was not smart. I think that much better is walking faster every steps. So short steps, quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll have to wait and see whether Magnus Samuelsson can follow those guidelines. Former world's strongest man. That was about five years ago. Now, can he come back and retain his title at the moment? He's 11 points behind the leader, Puzinovsky. But he is in third place overall. So going well. Supported by his friends and his wife out here in Zambia. Driving as hard as he can. He's not really pulling very much with his arms. He's just sliding along the tracks there. It's all on the legs and the back. 31.37 to beat. It's going to be close. 
very close. He's just outside it. And Magnus Samuelsson finishes it 32.46. But that is good enough for second place for the time being. And that has come after his victory in the Atlas Stones. After Samuelsson came Jeff Dolan, 36.71 for the Canadian. And after Dolan came Carlson, a fading fast, 69.15. For Jesson Paula, well, things are getting pretty tough now. 40.78. He'll score well, but not well enough. Raymond's Bergmanis, 38.84. That's a bit more like it for the man from Latvia. And Hugo Girard is still in there fighting. 34.81. Well, a bit of a surprise that Hugo Girard is not really competing as well as most people expected. This is now Verastyuk of the Ukraine. Are you ready? He's lying in fourth place overall after four events. Now he hasn't got the body weight of some of these guys, but again he's over 20 stones, and we know what an explosive athlete he is. Very powerful in the upper body, and moving his feet very quickly as well. So this could be good. That train is accelerating, there's no doubt about that. 31.37 is the lead by Demek at the moment. It's going to be close. Can he beat Samuelson's time of 32.46? Yes, he can. And in fact, Verastiuk has gone into the lead. We've got a new leader, 31.18. But he's in the lead now. He had a disappointing day yesterday, so that must make him feel better. Well, in principle, I realized that I was на камнях трошки відійду вниз і думав себе реабілітувати саме тут на тренпулі. Так що будемо бачити, як буде далі розвиватися. Well, he might well have turned things around there. That was an excellent performance by the Ukrainian. Now Zidrina Savikas still in second place, but losing touch with Pujanovsky. He really needs to win this one. Here we go. A big pull with the arms. Now this guy is big. He weighs about 24 and a half stone. And you can see the pressure on those rails. It is a fantastic time by Verastiuk. 31.18. Driving forward. Losing a bit of momentum though. He's got to drive with the legs. Pull with the arms. Stay low. And everything will be burning from top to bottom at the moment. That's for sure. Five meters to go. It's going to be outside the time. He won't go into the lead. So he's got to try and pick up time if he can. And it's outside 38 seconds. That is a disappointing performance. Whoa. My goodness. That gives you an idea of the power of these guys. He's actually broken the rails. The final competitor, Marius Pujanovsky, showing utter determination and commitment as he always does. Two first places and two second places so far. The defending champion gets going. Oh, wobbling just a little bit. I think it's a little easier when you're a bit smaller to show better technique. He's certainly very athletic and look at those veins standing out in his biceps. He's driving forward as fast as he can. 31.18 is Verastiuk's time. Can he make it victory number three? Three meters to go, it's gonna be close. He's still going for it. And he's got it! I don't believe it, 30.78. He's done it again. Can anybody stop Marius Pujanovsky winning this competition two years in a row? Did you expect to win that event? Liczyłem się w pierwszej trójce. And has he got the champagne ready? Szampan będzie dopiero, jeżeli już będę pewien na 100%. Jak już będę, medal będzie w dłoni, wtedy dopiero ukoronuję to. Well, this really is a virtuoso performance by the pole. Three victories and two second spots in five events. And his compulsive viewing, he must surely be on course for a record score. So the sun all but setting on the men's championship as the pole proves to be in a class of his own. Behind him though, it's pride and money at stake as second and third places are keenly fought for. This is the deadlift. 
Every time the bar goes back to the floor, the weight's dead. So it takes a lot of power and brute strength to get it back up again. The starting weight's 295 kilograms up to a maximum of 365. Everybody likes to win the deadlift, so there's a lot of pride at stake here. It really is one of the classic World's Strongest Man competitions. And Yarek Dimek has got to lift the apparatus for the first time and then a barrel will be added and so on to a maximum of Ready? six barrels altogether. So Dimek, a very experienced power lifter. This should be good from the pole and of course his teammate is way, way in the lead at the moment. I just wonder whether anybody can catch him. And that really is a tremendous bit of apparatus designed and built by Jamie Reeves. A lot of thoughts being put into that. Three barrels and four lifts all together. And this fourth barrel takes the apparatus up to 750 pounds. So Demet, look at the strain in his muscles. That is good weightlifting technique. The legs take some of the strain, then he locks his hips out. And this is the final barrel, 805 pounds, but can he do it? Yarek Demek just pausing for a moment. He's not quite sure what sort of time he's got left. The time limit is 75 seconds. I just wonder whether he's lost his impetus here. But he is going for lift number seven. Big strain on the legs again. He can't quite do it. But Yarek Demek has finished now, I think, 36.58 for six lifts. You said before the competition began that you would be happy to finish 10th. But you are going to finish much higher than that now, so it's good. This is bonus for me. My 100% was go to final. Now I'm in final. I have good place. All over ten is like a bonus for me. The whole event turning into a Polish benefit. After Jarek Dimic came Jeff Dolan, three lifts in 2068. Here's Jess and Paula, another Canadian, four in 30.45. After him, another Canadian, Hugo Girard, Five in 34.77. And then the season pros. Raymond's Bergmanis, five in 27.96. And after him, Svent Carlson. Life in the old dog yet, six, 39.77. Well, that lift by Svent Carlson puts him into second place behind Jarek Dimek. But this is Verastiuk. And you'll notice they're not wearing any shoes. In fact, the flatness of the feet giving the ideal lifting position for all these what? strong men. Now, what sort of power has this fellow got? Pushes his hips forward. That was good. And the first barrel goes in to take the all-up weight to 305 kilos. We saw just how powerful his arms and shoulders were earlier. This is more about all-round strength, static strength, but nevertheless massive strength. And he's struggling. This is a surprise. And this will be desperately disappointing for the Ukrainian if he can't do more than two. Taking his time, catching his breath, and now he sets himself again. Oh, that could be it. And Varastyuk says no more. And at last we found a weakness in the Ukrainian's armory. Now Zidrina Savikas. He needs a couple of points here to try and get ahead of Magnus Samuelsson. He's two points behind the Swede at the moment. And he was in second place for so, so long. Ready? The penultimate event, what? the deadlift for reps. Down. He needs a good performance here. The lead is still held by Jarek Dimek. Six Down. lifts in 36.58. Nobody has managed to lift all Down. six barrels so far. What? Head up. Shoulders back, no. lovely boy. And he's going well is Savikas. And taking into account that this is not Magnus Samuelsson's favorite event either, this is looking good for Zidrinas. Indeed it is. In fact, he's gone ahead of Jarek Dimek. Six lifts in total in a slightly faster time. Now this would be remarkable if he can make it seven lifts. 365 kilos, 805 pounds. No, he can't. He's holding his chest. I think he's in some sort of discomfort that may need treatment. He may have cramped up. Okay. 
Okay, toes down. Toes down. I think Ko is about second place because I can't win first place this year and I hope to be in second. Well, Eastern Europe are dominating this competition so far. What can Sweden do? Magnus Samuelsson, the former champion and coming back into form. Ready? He's in second place yeah. behind Puzhanovski altogether. But I know from previous experiences, this is not his favorite event. Six feet, five and a half inches tall. And it is a long way to pull, I can tell you. He's struggling there. And we've only got a couple of barrels in that cage so far. Just having a look around. I'm not quite sure what the problem is. No problem with the judging. Douglas Edmonds has been absolutely strict as anybody can be with these guys but it's all okay for Samuelson at the moment but he's had enough that was almost predictable and that is a very disappointing performance by Magnus the final competitor destined I'm sure to become world's strongest man for the second time in his life just being asked by the referee Douglas Edmonds can he hear the instructions his girlfriend and Yarek Dimek looking on and perhaps they're going to see world's strongest ready? man crowned slightly prematurely Are you after this event yes. because there is still one more event to go. Burn. So here we go. The lead at the moment held by Zidruna Savikas. Six lift in 35.34. Oh, the Burn. muscularity of this guy is unbelievable and Demek is not leaving anything to Burn. chance. Making sure his friend knows exactly how much time is left and how fast he's lifting. Five lifts gone, one to go, and the time is looking pretty good. And he's gone ahead with it. He's got the lead. He doesn't even need this last lift. I can tell you Malias Puzhanovsky is the champion already. That is superb. And this has been a totally dominant performance by Poland. You did it. I tak drugi raz z rzędu udało mi się wygrać. And how does this victory compare to the one you had 12 months ago? E, rok temu mogę powiedzieć, że było ciężej. E, a w tym roku po prostu e, przeciwnicy troszeczkę jakby może odpuścili albo ja dobrze się przygotowałem, nie wiem. And smile. <laughs> yeah. Teraz Polska rządzi. Sure does. Amazing. Six events, four wins, two second spots, hardly worth the rest turning up. This is a one-man tour de force by the world's strongest man. So the champion now just two points shy of the all-time record in world's strongest man finals. Zivikas looks set for the runners-up spot again. Only Samuelson can stop him. And we do indeed finish with the farmer's walk. Two giant anvils, 120 kilograms each, to be carried as quickly as possible down a 75-meter course. Don't underestimate the pride and the vanity of all these guys. They will all be out to do their very best in this final event. But as we get towards the closing stages, Jamie, how do you assess the competition as a whole? Well, the guys are bigger and stronger than they've ever been. We've got past champions like Carlson and Samuelson, who are very strong statically and mobility. But uh, Pudzianowski just dominated everything. Is the complete package. Well, there's no argument with either what John said or Jamie as we get to our final event. And here is Zidrina Savikas. He's certainly got a chance of finishing in second place, just as he did last year. And Magnus Samuelson, the former champion, ever popular. And he's been absolutely brilliant at Farmer's Walk in the past. Well, the lead at the moment held by Raymond's Bergmanis completed right. the whole 75 meters in 29.34 seconds and Samuelson is sprinting away so Vikas has got a bit of catching up to do oh the Swedes over to the left and right and drops the anvils and that gives the advantage to Savikas and now Magnus Samuelson is slowing that is very disappointing but Savikas is coming away so quickly one more length of the course now what sort of time have they got? I think Raymond's Bergmanis' time is safe 
but Savikas will get up in the point again and just as Samuelson was closing he dropped them down again that is good by Zavikas, 35.53 and Samuelson just picks them up again struggles over the line my goodness that one's still not over and I wonder whether he's going to struggle to hang on to his third place oh dear me uh, I'm happy second place it was very hard competition oh, so tired a last chance for Vasil Verastyuk, the Ukrainian who's in his first World's Strongest Man final and still totally pumped up for this farmer's walk. And of course the champion once again, this is all cream on top of the jam for Marius Puzhinovsky. And even the mayor of Livingston has turned out to watch this last event in the 2003 final. What a performance it's been by the pole, Puzhinovsky. Can he finish it off in style? Ready. The leading time is still Bergmanis' 29.34. And look at this. Absolutely racing away, both men. Varastio giving it everything. Puzhinovsky making no mistakes at all. Look at this. Mr. Muscle steaming down, but it's Varastio is in the lead. And a quick calculation tells us that if Verastia can win this, he will go into third place and get on the rostrum in his very first final. It's going to be close. It is close. Verastia has won it. Puzhinovsky finishes in third place. And Verastia does finish in third place overall, ahead of the former champion. And Puzhinovsky has done it again. Now look, you beat the world's strongest man in that event. What about next year actually beating him in the whole thing? В крайнем выпадку я на це надеюсь, потому что я уже знаю на данный момент, какие у меня слабые стороны. В принципе, я их и знал, но я еще раз переконался. And how much does it actually mean to you to have achieved this? Вы задаете такие интересные вопросы, что у меня сейчас слезы просто пойдут. Ясно, что я очень рад, я просто дарую эту победу всем своим близким и знакомым, батькам. Моей семье, <laughs> моему, моему сыну и Адаму. Одним словом, всем, 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 кто за меня переживал. Дякую вам. So Puzhinovsky is almost human because he finishes in third place in the farmer's walk, but the final scoreboard shows that he eclipsed the previous highest score by fully six points, and it's an Eastern Bloc monopoly on the podium finishes. And so for the very first time in World's Strongest Man history, the Ukraine are represented on the rostrum. Vasil Verastyuk gets third place. And for the second year in a row, Zidruna Savikas of Lithuania comes second behind the champion and in just a moment Tamara Brown of the sponsors will present the Metrex trophy to the champion Marius Puzhinovsky does it again two years in a row he is the world's strongest man for 2003 absolutely superb he joins an elite band of strong men who've won it more than once and goodness only knows what this talented fella will do in the future the history books show that he's not yet the dominant force that Magnus Ver Magnusson was back in the 90s, but be honest, would you bet against a third Puzhinovsky victory next year? Nobody's ever dominated the final like he has done here. He's very impressive. Unbelievable throng. He's a really good athlete. I think he's probably the best strongman ever. He's not from this planet. Marius is number one. It's party time now. Nice.